Hello iPad Leaders, it's so nice to see you. My name is Karen, I'm from iPad Lettering and I'm here to help you get the most out of your iPad, whether that is with lettering or art or journaling. In today's video, I wanna show you how to paint these autumn leaves and I've made a whole new brush set for this. You can see the style is slightly different from my previous watercolor brushes. This is more of a drier, more precise watercolor look. So let's jump right into it. The brush set consists of eight different brushes. And then it also has these templates with different leaf shapes and also a watercolor paper brush. I thought it would be nice to include the templates in the brush set as well because it makes it much easier for you to practice with the new brushes. All right, so now let's start by creating a new canvas. The canvas size I have chosen here is 2048 pixels wide and 2560 pixels high. We're going to start with the watercolor paper brush and create that watercolor background. You wanna choose a color that's kind of a light gray tone like this. And then the brush size that I've got here is around about 40 pixels. And so now you just paint in the background texture like this. And then what we're gonna do is duplicate this twice. So we're gonna duplicate it, and we're gonna duplicate it again. And you can see now how it gets quite dark. So now what we're going to do next is change the first layer to blend mode multiply. And then the second one we're going to change to color burn and we're going to change the third one to color burn as well. And now the paper has almost turned white again, which is exactly what we want. Now with that second color burn layer, what you might want to do as well is actually turn this around so that it gets a little bit more of an interesting texture. So you can select it here and then you can flip it horizontal and you can also flip it vertical. It's not really that visible what it's done, but in the background, it just creates a little bit of a nicer texture. All right, so now this is done. So now we're going to group all of the these layers and then we're going to rename that to texture and now it's quite important that everything you paint needs to go below this layer so I'm going to create a new layer but then I'm going to put that below that textures layer what you might want to do as well is actually lock this layer so you're not accidentally painting on it and now we are ready to have a look at the brushes I'm going to show you how all these brushes work but I think it's the easiest for you to see an application so I'm going to use that maple leaf to start with so I've got the maple leaf select and then I want to make this a sort of burnt red color so I'm just going to put the maple leaf template on the page like this and then we're going to decrease the opacity a little bit so that it just sort of acts as a template and then create a new layer now you can keep the same color selected and then we are going to select one of the leaves brushes you can see here we've got the watercolor leaves we've got the textured leaves and we've also got the shiny leaves they work a little bit similar but they all have a slightly different texture so I'm going to start with that shiny leaves brush and then the size of the brush you don't want to make it too big so I've got that here at around about 13 percent and so I can just trace the outline of this leaf now and you can see also that this brush is pressure sensitive and that's really handy for the edges there so every time I hit the edge I take the pressure off and then I put the pressure back on when I get to a part where I don't have to be too precise. Now the important thing when you are doing this is to never lift the apple pencil off so I'm just going to keep painting and I'm lifting it off here when I reach the end and so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then when you get to the end just keep painting and you can see now where we've painted before it creates this sort of overlap but that's not the problem you just keep painting don't leave the apple pencil off and then it sort of starts connecting the shape here and it just creates this really really beautiful texture you can see now if I go on the other side it creates this little overlap and this is because of the blend mode that this brush has but it's not a problem I'm going to show you how we can fix this as well and then also if you like you could leave little gaps sort of where the leaf might have a hole or like a little blemish you don't want to have them too many times just every now and then so now we're going to change brushes and we're going to use the texture highlight brush and this is a very very fine brush I'm just going to paint a little bit here so you can see so this hardly puts any color on your surface 
You can press harder and then it puts more color down, but this is a very, very nice smudging blending brush. And it also has a nice texture. And the reason why I've created it like this is so that you don't lose the beautiful watercolor texture that we already have, but you can use this to smudge these parts out here where we've got this overlap. And so it just blends in very nicely with the rest of the texture. Don't press too hard when you're doing this. It might take a little while, so you might need to be a little bit patient, but the less pressure you put on your apple pencil, the nicer this is going to blend and the more it will preserve the nice watercolor texture that you have. So now it's just going to go all the way around and then you can also use this to add some more depth to your leaf and some more of the dark spots. And then once we've done this, we're also going to add some highlights, of course. All right, so this looks pretty good. So now we want to add some highlights as well. So now we can select a lighter color. And I'm going to select this super light yellow and paint on top of my orange and just blend this in to create a little bit of a gradient. You might also like to increase the size of the brush if you're getting a little bit impatient like I am getting impatient sometimes. So definitely feel free to play with the size of your brushes. And then this side here is going to be a little bit lighter. So the whole side here is going to be mostly yellow and also if you find that this is just not fast enough what you could do now is change the brush there's two petals brushes here as well one's the loose petals brush and then the watercolor petals brush so you can choose one of these brushes and then paint on top and you can see how these are real watercolor brushes so they put a lot of paint on your canvas and I'm going to show a little bit later exactly how they work and now let's smudge this out so we're going to change to the smudging tool and for smudging, I very much recommend that you use the wet sponge brush. This is actually a brush that's already included in Procreate. And this is my favorite smudging brush. This is super nice to really blend the colors together and smudge it all out. You don't want to blend too much because otherwise you lose that nice texture from our shiny leaves brush. So we're just going to keep smudging until the yellow looks nice and then we are going back to our texture highlights brush and choose an orange color so now we're going to add in some more orange here as well and then if you like you could also switch back to that petals brush here and add the orange in a little bit more this just goes a bit faster it's not too dissimilar of using the texture highlights brush it just goes a bit faster if you are a little bit impatient and then we're going to go back to the darker color as well and then add in some more shadows here and you can see here how i'm pressing down quite hard now to create those dark parts and then if you're impatient you can use the smudging tool and then you can smudge this out so this creates a nice watercolor edge effect as well here and then once you're happy with the look of your leaf, we're now going to bring up our template layer to the top so we can see these lines a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is add another layer and now we're going to draw in those lines a little bit more defined and for this I recommend that you use that wet on dry brush. I recommend that you use this brush at a very small size probably around 2% is what you want and you can see that this creates really nice and fine lines and the brush is also pressure sensitive and really lends itself for painting in these veins for the leaf. So now I'm just going to trace the lines here of my team plate. And then towards the middle of the leaf here, I'm going to make the stroke a little bit thicker and add a bit more color. And then towards the end, I'm going to let it fade out. And so this creates these knots where the veins connect. So if you've watched last week's video, you would have already seen me using these leaves in my journal. I always think it's nice to reuse your artwork for different purposes. And sometimes it's sad we're only creating the art to post it on Instagram, but I do like using it in my journals as well or sometimes I also create little cards that I'm printing and then having these elements ready is actually very nice and sort of makes it easy to whip up some nice little card for a friend for a birthday or for any kind of occasion where you need something that's handmade and you can already see now how our leaf is taking shape and how adding these veins really makes a big difference to the appearance of the leaf and it's actually not very hard to do this all you have to do is just follow the lines and then sort of where that lines meet here you just create a little bit of a thicker 
connection and now we can turn the helper lines off and this is our maple leaf finished so now let's group these layers and then let's create a new layer and now i want to show you some of the other brushes as well so we're going to start with that loose petals and so this is a super nice brush to paint petals so you start in the middle of your petal and then you take the pressure off and it's almost like pulling the water out to create this really really super nice subtle effect so this is very light and creates these beautiful petals so now you can another one and this is more of a watery watercolor style it's not like the other brush that we've used before the leaves brush this is a lot more adding a lot more water and then so this is what it looks like when we paint with it and then that watercolor petals brush and this is a very similar brush except it keeps the color for a little bit longer so it takes a little bit longer until the color runs out and then we also have the petals wet on wet and this is a similar brush as well the difference here is that this brush smudges a lot more so you can see how this blends more and this creates more of a hard edge they have three different options for creating these types of loose watercolor florals but now let's also have a look at the leaves brushes we already had a look at that shiny leaves brush so i'm going to draw that leaf here again so you can see what this looks like when we're painting some leaves and this creates just really super nice shiny texture very nice and then um, we've got that watercolor leaves so this creates a more sort of watercolory paper texture and it's not quite as shiny but it's got the sort of super nice watercolor pattern and then we've also got that textured leaves and this is slightly different this has got a slightly different texture and doesn't have quite as much color variation and then of course you've already seen the texture highlights brush so now what you can do here is use this to paint in some highlights so i'm just going to grab a very light green brush and this is pretty much what we've done when we painted the maple leaf already but i'm just going to show you again how you can create these highlights and then i also recommend that you don't go all the way to the edge when you create these highlights because it makes it look a lot nicer and then maybe choose another color as well and a darker color here at the end and then last but not least we also have a wet on dry brush and you can see how this brush has this really cool watercolor background here and also this overlap so this is almost like painting real watercolor waiting for it to dry and then when you paint on top of it you can sort of see the previous layer already and then maybe we want to paint some yellow on top of this as well i'm going to use that highlights brush for this to blend it in and then we can paint some black dots as well and there you have it these are the brand new florals painting brushes i'm just going to show you some other paintings that i've made with this as well so i've used it for this type of painting as well and there's also a eucalyptus leaf template included in the brush set i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think about the brushes it would be really nice if you gave me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and then i'm also going to bloop up another video that you really want to watch this is a review of procreate 5x it's so awesome it has so many awesome new features you definitely don't want to miss that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video